Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner. In today's video we are doing Cabin Fever, which is two movable containers that have like little ski sled, sled legs, whatever you want to call them, on them. And you can just winch it to your truck or any vehicle and you just to tow it that way into the north camp. So we have two containers that we have to go get. One in the south camp, which is the first one we're going to go get, and one at the east camp, which will be the second one, and they both deliver to the north camp. So that's what we plan on doing in today's episode. I'm also going to pull up my map real quick to show you guys. I kind of, as you know, in my previous video, video, if I showed any map, this whole area was dark. And... I also want to say I've been using the prototype to unlock areas just to expand it and this actually has helped quite a bit. So I plan on on darkening this zone over here more just to get more of a better image of it as well. But right here for you guys who have not found the all wheel drive for the Ford, I found it. Right here where my cursor is at is where the Ford all-wheel drive upgrade is so if you guys haven't found it yet or you're struggling to and you don't have the prototype trailer this is where it's at on the map just kind of northwest of the garage basically in this clutter of rocks so that's one thing I just want to let you guys know about we'll start up the Vron again we're using this I have about 20 two th or 225 240 ish somewhere in between that range of cash I plan on possibly upgrading to a bigger vehicle if I could kind of a heavy ve vehicle possibly to do heavier contracts and tows and that but for this map I'm not really looking to do that because there's not really a heavy mission that requires a big vehicle so I may not I could use it to buy a different vehicle for my other maps to complete them so I'm not so far behind is all but I haven't decided that either I also will have a Rainbow Six v Siege video coming out tomorrow and after the siege video is up there will be another snow runner one it will probably be the biggest one for snow runner the biggest mission to do because you have to explore two sites and a bunch of pole electrical poles as well with it so that'll probably be tomorrow's video for you guys, or not tomorrow the Sunday's video for you guys and then Saturday will be Rainbow Six Siege and what I plan on doing for this Rainbow Six Siege is just probably talk about gameplay and what I plan on doing with the packs along with talking a little bit of what to expect in the future videos of Rainbow Six Siege as well because the end of the year is coming upon us for season two for Rainbow Six Siege. Season three is just right around the corner. It comes out sometime this in September, in the middle of September sometime. So I will have a video to talk then about that. I'm not 100% sure when the second video would be out for Rainbow Six Siege, but it will eventually be out. I also will ha have, as I mentioned the past ones, I will have a calendar coming out. I haven't finalized it. I'm kind of guessing what I want to do so far. It's not 100% what I plan on doing yet, which is the only problem. I kind of want to get that finalized so I can make a video on that, talk about it. So I have content for you guys and you guys know what to expect on a daily basis for content wise. I can tell you now when September 4th hits, if 2K and Avengers aren't out, it will be out that Saturday. I'm pretty sure the 4th is a Friday. 
It'll be out one of those days, though. I'm not 100% sure on exactly when. But I'm hoping the 5th is the latest. I'm hoping it just comes out the 4th. I have it scheduled to update and be downloaded the 4th, both. So Avengers and 2K will be out. And those, along with Rainbow Six Siege, will be the main videos on my channel for content-wise. And I will still do Fall Guys and SnowRunner episodes if you guys want me to. They just won't be as popular. Just because I kind of want to focus on a main gameplay. Like the Avengers, I heard glasses up to probably about 40 or so hours, maybe even more. I forgot you can fall through this. So, the Avengers gameplay will be a long gameplay. Expect multiple videos on certain days probably for that. Uh, NBA 2K, my career is what I'll mostly focus on along with some my team as well. But my career will be probably video every day unless something changes along the way, which is a possibility that something could change. I'm not saying that there will, but this be cautious, or not cautious, just look out for like me talking about it or comments or something along the lines of that. I need to get across this upside, but this is all breakable ice, so I need to find a way that's not breakable. Is the only problem as well with this. It shouldn't be breakable, we will see though. Uh, kind of was there. Okay, sorry for the weird cut there. I had to take my dog outside because she was dancing, had to go outside, go to the bathroom. And I was just w waiting for her to finish up. So sorry for that weird cut slash delay. So I think what I was talking last was about what you would see as a main. So Rainbow, Rainbow Six Siege, NBA 2K21, my career, along with my team occasionally on certain days, and the Avengers. Once I'm done with the Avengers gameplay, it'll just be in my career, and Rainbow Six Siege as my main games I will play. I will have my team come out more often than later on because the season will be bigger or different I guess so you'll have more content to choose from instead of just one single type gameplay I mean it's probably hard on me and hard for you guys to watch multiple videos of different content but I want more content out there just to help produce my channel to be a top channel in the world along with having certain gameplay that you guys would be interested in I don't know if you guys would be interested in that gameplay if not I'm sorry but that's the kind of the route I'm taking I'm more of a basketball slash Rainbow Six Siege guy I love Rainbow Six Siege there probably won't be a lot of Call of Duty if so it will be live streamed or about updates it won't be big on just video content making itself it will also be only like highlights probably or epic clips or something that happens in Warzone if that's the case but for most of the time it will be live streamed or recorded or live streamed on YouTube or live streamed on Twitch Twitch, my Twitch is down in the link in the description box below as well for you guys. Don't be afraid to follow just because I go live on usually Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes Sundays. I probably won't be live though for a while on Twitch, just depending. I probably won't be live on YouTube to stream the for Warzone because 
my friends kind of get carried away with cussing a lot, so and I don't have monetization yet, so that's also the issue with that. So I probably won't live stream Twitch on YouTube, but like Fall Guys, I will live stream Fall Guys quite a bit, probably on YouTube. I probably, I'll still make quite a bit of videos of Fall Guys, but I doubt I make much. From here, once I get my, my main game plays started, but we also won't exactly know how it will work either because it's just kind of a test and guess and fix and everything else type of process. So we're about ready to deliver the South Camp trailer to the first objective marker. And then we'll go to the East Camp and get that one and deliver it as well. For you guys also who are looking for more gameplay ideas, please let me know if you find any. Oh, supply delivery. Is this not where we have to go? I thought this is where we had to go. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll just drop it here. Oh. Didn't even hit that, though. The physics don't make sense in this game, but it's alright. I think that's where we're supposed to drop it off. But it says supply delivery, so I have no clue if it's where we're supposed to take them, I guess. But it said take it to North Camp, and this is the North Camp. And yes, we're backtracking, otherwise I'd go this way and go to East Camp, but there's a lot of rocks that way, and I don't want to damage the truck too bad. Plus, it's a big hill that you have to climb, and I don't want to climb a gigantic hill that could result in me rolling over, flipping, or anything like that. So yes, we are going to backtrack a little bit. That's just kind of how I plan on doing this. This is probably going to be a longer episode. I know how I said in my other, in my uh, Fall Guys episode that should be out today. Or not today. Should be out for Thursday. This video, it should be out. In the, I was saying how my allergies have been bad. They're still kind of bad. I actually sound a lot better than I did yesterday recording that video. So... It, I mean, I sound different. I mean, when I watch it, I'll be able to tell if I do or don't sound different making them. I'm hoping I do because that means my medication is actually working. My eye drops are helping me. My nasal spray, anything else that I've been taking has been actually helping me. That means I need to continue to take it. There's also, yeah, hopefully your guys is Friday is going pretty well. Mine is. I'm glad the weekend's going to be here. Hopefully you guys have a big plan for a weekend. This weekend I don't have anything going on that I know of. Anything nothing big. Just making videos for you guys. This is what I have going on from what I can tell. I have Friday and Monday actually off of work which is a good thing because I work outside and my allergies are awful at that time and by the time I get home to make the video for the next day it's just awful which is not good for me but it's alright allergies are allergies and they suck once I get kind of more comfortable I will have a face cam eventually I just want to get more comfortable with YouTube make sure my editing software is up to date and all that first and also make sure I have a proper mic because as you know as I said I think the other last video my Fall Guys one and could be a different one I was saying my I was really congested, plugged up, and I was talking through my headset, my gameplay headset. 
I don't. What I plan on doing is getting a mic to plug into a PC. I plan on looking for a PC. Because I'm just pulling this, all of this off of a jump drive that I connect to my pl PlayStation and share it or s record it that way. And then I should take my jump drive to attach it to my laptop and I edit videos that way. So I plan on getting a gaming PC probably in the next month or two. Just so I can start record getting a get face cam along with a different microphone to start talking to you guys that way. And then if I want to talk to my friends in game chat, I can still talk to my friends in game chat with my headset. And just talk to you guys normally, just my mic. But I probably could set it up to both ways to where I could talk to my friends and you guys at the same time on push of a button in my chat. Or on my keyboard. So that is kind of the plan. No promises will be soon though. It could be later. It probably will be later than that. It just depends though on what I expect to happen and what I don't. I know this is a while away, but there is four months of 2020 left. A little, actually under four months of 2020. And what I plan on hoping for is that I will have a hundred subscribers by the end of 2020. I'm hoping you guys subscribe and hopefully you guys like my content. If not, please don't be afraid to say something to me. I won't get I won't get mad. It's just I want ideas on what I can improve on and get some help to make sure that my videos are actually helping or have you guys help me make make sure my videos are better in a way to where it's just not like I don't know how to explain it like not not the quality not just Maybe like my thumbnails aren't as good as you guys are wanting. I don't know. Just give me an idea what you guys think I should do better. You guys want me to make more custom thumbnails? I can't. I've only done two. Maybe one. Actually one. One thumbnail, I think. That was custom. Everything else has been a screenshot from a game. The gameplay from some point in time. Either be the main menu screen once and then... That it that's been it or something else so if that's something I need to change I will I won't hesitate to it's just I will have to look up some thumbnail customize customization for thumbnail because I'm not good at making thumbnails I kind of just going off of the gameplay thumbnails is what I'm trying to do but I mean, if th custom thumbnails won't be too bad, I would try to do it. Some of them will be harder than others, I know. Like for Fall Guys, I'm, it's going to be hard to make a custom thumbnail. Well, not hard. I'm going to start making custom thumbnails for my Rage 1 if I continue to do that. Uh, for my uh, Call of Duty ones, I'll start have to make some custom or something for... Yeah, for 2K, I probably won't have to, but I will have to for like my team in a way. I don't know. It just depends. And then the Avengers uh, again, I'll probably be customized, which is gonna be hard. I have a feeling, but maybe it won't. Who knows? Maybe it'll be easy. But we will see eventually anyways so we're making our way to the east camp and we're going to deliver this back to the north camp hopefully it accepts the the drop off i don't know why it won't or what would be the issue of it so let's back up here and reposition ourselves so we can pull this out of the east camp take to the north camp because the north camp needs some um, supplies there so we will winch it to the portable 
container and deliver it so we'll winch it closer to us so it's not too far away and smack into other things. I'm actually doing half halfway on gas which is actually really good right now. That's why I want to be at was kind of a halfway to get this one. I was hoping for a little more but that's alright. Because I know this is going to struggle going up the hill. This isn't the most powerful truck I know. But it is a part just because of the snow. But it is powerful enough to do this mission. Along with other missions. So if you guys have as any suggestions on a truck that you guys want me to get. I am ranked 20. I was doing some off camera gameplay on the different maps last night on Tamara Russia. Just doing that one and got to rank 20 on a couple of main missions there and a couple of side task activities. So I am rank 20, I got a bunch of upgrades for vehicles. I will look at all the vehicles and see that I have and see what needs to upgrade on it. I know quite a bit do need the upgrade, but I don't know, know which ones they were. It's an issue, because I didn't pay attention because it was so quick. Like, I think there's like eight upgrades that were unlocked reaching that rank with all my vehicles. Or vehicles that I don't have, I guess, per se. So if you do have any suggestions on a vehicle you guys want me to use, or anything like that, let me know in the comments section below. I will use the Ford all-wheel drive and see what it's like before I make a video with it. I may try it on the other co main contract mission. I may try it with the prototype trailer as well to see what it does. Or I may do it just a task and record it with the Ford just show you all-wheel drive handling. I know you guys probably want more of the DLC vehicles. I'm sorry though, I, they're just not as good as I thought they were. We're nothing against them, they're good vehicles to have, but they're just not powerful enough for me to use to do like a pull like this. I don't think the Tuz will be able to do this, and maybe the Ford could now since I have all wheel drive for it, but I doubt it could because this recommends an off-road vehicle to do it, so we're using an off-road vehicle to do it. And I also have an idea I just thought of just now for a video for you guys. Is, do you want me to make a video on a before and after, well, I probably do it anyways. What my video idea was for Rainbow Six Siege, probably in two weeks is a guess. I don't know though. Is make a kind of like a season three patch note ordeal slash looking at the new operator, new gadget, new changes to the game, and everything that's changing along with the new map. There is something different though for season three. Season three, they were gonna do the skyscraper re rework. They changed it though. So for you Rayman Six Siege fans out there watching the video, this video, I will talk a little bit about it. They changed the gameplay or changed the map. So if you followed the season three or season. Our year five patch notes and what would come out every season. You will notice on season three they had skyscraper rework along with a classified operator. The everything that it, everything before the map is correct, but they switched to season three out and switched Chalet map, which was supposed to come out in season four as a rework. They switched those two around. So Shalat is the map that got reworked and Skyscraper is going to get reworked in Season 4 of Year 5. And these next two seasons for Season 3 they have a classified uh, operator which is an attacker that's all I'm going to say coming out. And they also have 
for year for year five season four a one single operator getting released and it's supposed to be a defender I don't know exactly who it is I don't know what gadget it is I don't know the guns all I know is for this coming up season see, they are gonna have a lot of changes along with a new gun is all I'm gonna say actually two new guns unless it's already in there but I well, could the second gun could be in there so one new gun so nothing else is going to change there. Her, um, season three that I know of. So I decided to let you guys know about that real quick for you Rainbow Six Siege people out there who are watching my video. So I just let you know that that's what is changed. As, well, not a main change, but it is a small change that happened in season three so far. The main change will be a video for all of you guys to watch. We have we have to winch back out of that. That's just too deep of mud. The thing doesn't uh, wrong grad doesn't do too good in mud, but it is a good vehicle. I will give it that. Pull a little bit closer, like can. That's the only thing, it doesn't do good in deep snow and mud, but it is a good vehicle, so it's a good upgrade. I am kind of get more of a powerful vehicle. I mean, probably upgrading the engine probably would make it better, but I know it just eats through the fuel quicker. Which is not what I'm wanting. But if I need to, I will. I mean, you guys probably know more about vehicles than I do. I'm just doing this game for gameplay content for you guys I'm not necessarily doing it just for I'm um, doing it for fun I'm not necessarily doing it just because to be a know-it-all on vehicles I'm just doing it for content also in the future what I think I'm doing once I get a gaming PC is kind of not mm, maybe doing it a little bit of role plays for Grand Theft Auto for PC if Grand Theft Auto 6 six comes out then I will do role play on that if it does if not I'll do Grand Theft Auto 5 role play well, I also plan on doing like an LSPDFR series along with it it could be like going the police department uh, a fire department slash medic or like a towing service if uh, if that's an option just so I'm kind of having different gameplay again that won't be like a main gameplay it will just be different in gameplay for my channel is all that would be but that is a kind of an idea I thought about doing a while back I just never really got the chance to because I didn't want to play it on my laptop because my laptop can't keep up with all the frames and it, the frames and quality is just awful to where I can't really record anything on it. The only way I can is if, it's, if I transfer gameplay across to it. We are probably about half a mile, maybe less than that to the North Camp. And sorry I've been talking the whole time. Like I said, yesterday's video on my Fall Guys, I'm trying to talk more just so it's less for me to edit right now just because I'm just so congested and plugged up, so I don't want to edit too much. I do edit quite a bit though still. There's quite a bit of chunks that will be cut out of this. It just won't be as big or as long as of edit processing that I would expect on a normal video but like on a normal video most of this gameplay would be cut out for you guys so you guys wouldn't, have to, you guys wouldn't see me driving up this the whole time you, it would probably be about here where I would start back talking and say we're almost here to the north camp and Hope you guys are liking the video so far, dot dot dot, whatever. I would say, it's just, I figured, let me show you guys a whole gameplay, kind of, of what 
my videos look like if I talk the whole time. I mean, that's what streaming is for, so you guys can see all the gameplay and like what it's like. But not necessarily. I also won't. I probably won't plan on editing a whole lot until the end of this weekend once I don't feel too congested and be able to breathe probably is the goal. So hopefully I'm a lot better. I mean I sound better. I mean I still know my allergies are there because I, I need to sneeze half the time. My It feels like everything when I talk my head just echoes. And that's what it just seems like. And this took all day to do. It's almost evening now. We started in the morning, and we made it all the way to basically to the evening, basically almost. So we're just hitting dusk, basically, is what is going on. So it took an all-day journey to get to portable containers over here. Again, I don't know if it will accept it. I may have to do something different. If so, I will do that as well but I'll it would probably be having me to research it because I don't know why it didn't accept this because this is where it's supposed to be dropped off but it didn't drop it off unless I'm supposed to use a crane and drop it off but nope okay it just accepted it just like that well there we go I completed that I thought we had to pull it further but okay so awesome wood be a lot easier to deal with than the rest of it glad we can rely on you so that job we got 610 experience points along with 6100 cash that was a big pay for two containers we have about 215,000 so close to it I have enough for probably two big vehicles with a bunch of upgrades actually three big vehicles a bunch of upgrades if you guys want me to get vehicles like that but if not, just let me know what type of vehicles you guys really want. It's not going to affect me if you guys don't want me to get new vehicles. But just let me know what you guys think on getting. Because to me, your guys' opinion matters. I'm not going to want to make it my own opinion, make it matter. But if you guys don't care what I pick, that's fine. So anyways guys, I'm going to end the video there. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and hit that notification bell to get the next video. Also, I have a video of the previous one along with a playlist of SnowRunner. So make sure if you guys haven't watched the SnowRunner series, you go watch it. Please guys, it would mean a lot to me. And uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And I love you guys, and peace out.